Hello. We are live and direct. Are we down? We're down. Sorry, we're down. guys. Jordan had to take a phone call. Uh, we are, I mean, podcast. We only um, did two and a half minutes. Two and a right? half great minutes. So the quick, and now we'll never be heard. Quick retake. Well, I can I can fill you in with what it was. Um, Please Tom, do fill me in. <clears throat> I didn't know it was the end of Hanukkah yesterday. Uh, Tom didn't know the Hanukkah was the one where you light candles. We found out Yom Kippur <laughs> is the lovely day of atonement, and uh, you pray and uh, fast. And then we sort of figured out we weren't talking about Christmas enough. It's Christmas time. Fuck Christmas, innit? Uh, there's no need. What? That's the, um. What song is that? That's the Christmas. What song is, is that? Coming. Feed the world. Do you know what? Yeah, it's Live Eight, isn't it? Live Eight. Live Eight. Live Eight. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of things you do that we noticed the other day. You done that? What? Where you get what? Like your Michael Jackson? No, but look, we're we're recording on Ableton Live Eight. Ah, <laughs> you're done now. It's in your subconscious. Don't man. worry, blood. Ab- Sorry, God, what's wrong? What's happened Whoa. to you? I don't know. What's happening to you? I'm frazzled. I'm frazzled. He's frazzled. Yes. Yeah, what have you been up to, mate? You've been a stressful day. Too much and not enough. Too much and not. What have you been doing? Filming. What What are you filming? I didn't even ask you. Uh, me and my pal. Um, you and a pal. Me and a pal. Right. <laughs> Shout out Y squared. Y um, squared. We are shooting a uh, a short video for a short uh, video. Hashtag porno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a friend of his uh, wrote a poem Ooh. about identity Ooh. and individuality. God, that's powerful. And um, we're we're shooting a short video for it. Nice, mate. Yeah. What did you film? Uh, today we just went around Brixton and shot the market, and you know people, hold tight, people Brixton. doing their thing. Yeah, hold, hold tight, tight, Bricky. Still one time. God, it's so racist. Yeah, that was kind of racist. A little bit racist. Sorry, Brixton. Sorry, Brixton. That's Sorry. really uncouth of us. Very uncouth. But you um, know, so you filmed for a poem. So what you're making the the poem is just going to be read over your video. Don't know. She hasn't finished the poem yet, so we don't really know what's going on. Oh, with the poem. she? Who is this she? Her name is Lola. What's up, Lola? What's up, Lola? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm like, what up? Hey. <laughs> if Lola came now, we'd be Christmas. like, what's up, Lola? <laughs> <laughs> no, she wouldn't be like, hi. Hi, Lola. <laughs> hi. Lola. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> but um, you said we, we, we've we we've got free reign with the video because she hasn't done the poem. So we just, we got our own. She we hasn't ma- written the poem? No, she hasn't got to do it. for. It's for an exhibition that she's doing in like three months. So, so how do you know what to film? Just because she's got a theme for the exhibition, which is identity and individuality. So her poem's going to be around that. I feel like the video is more important than her shitty poem. So you're basically doing her Wow. Film. Is that not true? That, I mean, just restrain the shitty part. Not shitty, but... <laughs> 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 right, I feel like the video is more um, poignant. Nah, because we're uh, not. It's not our exhibition. It's her exhibition. She's doing a poem, but she wants to sh- def- display a show. Yeah, hey, Lola, how about you show up and do a little film? Did she come to the filming? Not today. She did the first day. Oh, how good of her to show up. Um, um, but, busy way, Lola. But um, <laughs> why did she rang you? I'm just doing some Christmas shopping, guys. Um, if you could just like film a little bit more, though, that'd be great. Yes, Lola. Yeah, but me and Yasin are just really using it as a yeah, opportunity to practice video, isn't it? And that's how she. she d- I don't even think she really wanted a video for it. Just Yasin was like, "Hey, can we make a video for it?" Hmm. Or they were just talking about it and she was thinking about it and he was like, oh, we'll do it just for a fucking You should just go like wildly out there, yeah. Not show her any of the footage and be like, no, I want it to be a surprise on the day and then just have this like proper intense shit, man. Yeah, see, I mean, it, it, my stuff would be intense and poorly cut and like a mess. <laughs> it would be very hard to watch. It would be challenging, but Yasin's going to bring a little bit of a sleek edge to it. A little bit of sleek edge. I'm hoping. Fair and look at us we've already reached the point where we uh, went back and deleted last time <laughs> what do you mean well we already I'm saying don't worry um, oh wh- what <laughs> <laughs> my brother went oh yeah I know what he's talking about no, no I, I don't. still don't no I don't still don't no I'm saying that lo- we, we restarted at three and a half minutes uh, and now we've just uh, see, hit see. four so. see Hey guys, if you're still here, four minutes, well done. Do you reckon we will? Go you. Do you reckon we'll ever put our phones on silent before we start? <laughs> like, mind just in the background going. Highly go, doubt. <laughs> Highly doubt. Hey, we're learning, man. This is episode eleven. Shout out George Harper. Shout out George Harper. Don't know. Riding the wave. Big things. What do you know, fam? Riding the wave. Tell us how wanna, it is. I want to give a, a quote from our biggest fan. My life, and I quote here: My life has changed since I brought the podcast into my life. His words, not mine. Excellent. 
That's um, what are we about? Shout Tom? out to double figure subscribers. What are we about? Though? Ooh, changing ooh. lives ooh, and ooh. changing media. Changing media. Why do you think we're not in the local papers? Fuck the local They're scared. papers. They're scared Bro. to report the real shit. Print is a thing of the past. I wonder if we'll have any breaking. We always seem to have a little bit of breaking news in the thing. By the way, I still sound very nasal. <laughs> breaking. I got some breaking news here already. Have you? Yeah, UN General Assembly issues stinging rebuke to Trump with vote rejecting his recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Well, we can't just read out that's that's their drop of news, bro. Uh, you want we, we got our investigators on the ground. All right, sure. UK General Assembly condemns US plan. Condemn. <laughs> it's the same piece of news from a different website. Motherfuckers. Did you see Fox uh, News and The Guardian? Fox News is a bit slow. Sorry. Go on. Oh, don't be getting your news from Fox or CNN, Fo- bro. Fox News. Eddie Bravo and CNN. Sent you. Fox News wanna use my name for percentage. <laughs> classic, classic, classic. Classic. Uh, did you see any of the football? The football. Uh, there used to be a guy who went to uh, Power League. Yeah. What every the before Haribo Cup, man. I'm alright. No, before every Power League competition we used to have when we were kids. Yeah. I don't even know where the fuck he's from. But he used to come out. And he, used to <laughs> he used to come out. And he used to go. Hello, guys. We're going to play a little bit of five-a-side football, and everyone used to just be like sniggering for his whole speech. Yeah, so I mean, the other racist. Huh? What? <laughs> no, not racist. <laughs> do, do you ever have school? Every like teachers We're gonna have to be... restart this one as well, lad. <laughs> That's not racist. <laughs> do you ever remember at school though? There'd be like teachers, and there'd just be like one little thing wrong with them. Yeah, and it just wouldn't. You, like no one could concentrate. But like a teacher would come in and they'd be like, I don't know, like a massive spot on their face or something obvious, and it's yeah, just yeah. they walk in like no Mi- one's gonna Mr. say anything. Mister Beckett holding his socks. I never. I can't remember her name. There was this one. She was like a. Oh, what's her name? She was like foreign lady, but she started out as like a helper, and then she was like, it got weird. Like she would slowly start like doing little two minutes at the end, and then mm-hmm. like it was in maths, and then she would be like, Oh yeah. As the class finished, she'd be like, right, she'd stand up, like, randomly at the back. Comes from, be like, right, guys, stand up, get behind chairs, leave. And then, so, like, they were basically, like, integrating her into the lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I met, I'll never forget, she had her first lesson. <laughs> so sad. She had her first lesson. She gets up on the whiteboard. She's so nervous. She's shaking. Like, you can see how nervous she is. You know how kids are just so dread, like... I remember Lee Beautiful, shouts right. her back. She's like, spit it out, miss. And she just like, she couldn't cope it's in it. And then Mr. Sarabi comes over, Ooh. our mass teacher, and he's like, all right, don't worry. Like, sit down. I was like, oh, so deep. Oof. At the time, though, I'm like, way. But now you look back and you're like, oh, so deep. It's better. Huh? She's probably so, so nervous the night before. Me. Like, mm, poor fucker, man. Who would be a teacher? You know who got away with it? Miss Avram got away job. with it. Yeah, she was with weirdly that voice. Hot. How did she get away with not getting terrorized? Hello. <laughs> I'm Mr. Abraham. Okay. We had some weird teachers. Weird. The man. whole maths department was Iranian. Miss Be- Mr. Beckett, who was like um, Nigel Thornbury. <laughs> Nigel Mr. Thornbury. Beckett? He was like uh, the science teacher, but he was like the most British bloke in the world. <laughs> Nigel Thornbury reporting to <laughs> and he, And he had massive, he wore sandals and he had massive holes in all his socks. I remember. And he'd convert. He was a Muslim convert. He was like, what? You're the poshest English bloke in the world. The best teacher we had was the dude who died, who used to just go into the... Our DT teacher used to go into the stock oh, room... Oh, Mr... And just bust shots of... Vo- he'd come out just stinking of whiskey and what shit. What was his name? Bro, he used to just be coughing blood into his tissue and shit. Oh, well. yeah. With Bear Graham. Oh, no, one second, guys, and just, like, have a heart attack. I can't remember his name. He used to have, like, little strokes and stuff. It, it wasn't Mr. Featherstone. Featherstone was a waste, man. It's coffee breath. He'd come right behind you. Be like, oh, what are you doing? Here? Do you know what they used to be? Really? Again, I can't remember. Coffee breath. Why are you a breathe talker? A like, mouth breather. What are you doing? He's a mouth here? breather. Shout out to Stranger Things fans. You all know about the mouth breathers. Uh, joke from Stranger Things. Don't worry, mate. Mouth you know? breathers. That's we've had that for years. He calls people mouth breathers. Yeah, but it? we've had that for years. Who's we? Me and James. We used to call people mouth breathers back oh, really? in the day. It's like those people who are just freaks. You say mouth breather, don't it? They, they just had a bit. No, they go. They go. No, it's more subtle. It's like when they talk. They go. <laughs> but yeah, this teacher. I can't remember her name. She used to come up behind me. It would always be like sneak attack. Yeah, morning. So it'd be a mixture of morning coffee and cigarette breath, mm. and it just hit you. Like, oh god! Not Miss Terry. No, I can't. She was a helper as well. I can't. She was like. Do you remember Hillary? Oh god. Hillary, <laughs> Hillary. Oh, old science how she was she was like a walking scab 
I think like she was like hundred year old. I think she was like scared. forty, but she looked every bit of what forty. Ninety one. She was one hundred and eighty nine. <laughs> she you could <laughs> blow her hunchback. over. She's like coming like. <laughs> <laughs> every time she moved, you could just hear make... click like her. Bones. I remember Kappa going behind her in a um, in a physics lesson because he could, in between the desks. Mm. And just whipping his balls out and just dragging him across oh. her back. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual was, assault. Yeah, Kappa, man. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe or we go into the sun with your uh, sexual assault on the eight-year-old woman. <laughs> 80, but 190. She was weird as well. Like, I remember she used to be like, she was like a little creature. Like if you got too near. She, she was she, Gollum. She, she wouldn't even say words. She'd be like, Wah! like <laughs> she's like a little vulture. She didn't actually, ever, I never heard her no, she'd make, she'd make together. aggressive noises to Yeah, she'd like, <laughs> Bro, she, we should investigate what that was all about. She's definitely dead. <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> but I'm saying we should investigate what was the deal with that. I think she was... I reckon she got locked up in like the fucking chemical rooms and the science. They just didn't let her out. She didn't yeah. know how to get off that top science floor. She just wander around. She, she, she always had oh, that fuck. trolley. Yeah, always had that trolley. <laughs> that she was, was her safety blanket. To the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> but there was never anything on the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> She's just wandering the halls and like. <laughs> oh god! Then there was that caretaker who used to live in the school. He was a freak as well. How did we have someone like Mister? Which kid? Oh, the, the one he used. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was actually to, a nice guy. Yeah, he was a nice guy. Caretakers always are. A little bit well, of a pedophile, but a nice guy. I'm sure he touched a kid or two. Like you live in a school. Like, um, let's be real. Yeah, I've never seen you have any friends over. <laughs> you just hang in the playground all day. It's probably one of the rules. You can't really have friends over because you live in a school. Yeah, you have all your pedo crew over. <laughs> like, you're yeah, that's not. why he can't have yeah. friends over. <laughs> Do you know what I've I've been I was thinking about this the other day. I was saying, uh, what were you thinking about, Thomas? So one of our friends was like, "Can I have a chewing gum, please?" One of our friends was like, "A bit demanding, but yeah." Where huh? Is it? Where is it? Uh, What'd you say? A bit dawning. A bit demanding, but yeah. <laughs> Can I have a chewing gum, please? That was my nice voice. <laughs> yeah, it was actually. That was very um, yeah, I was saying. So he took his kid to see Santa, and I was thinking about all these jobs where, like, if you're a pedo, you're gonna be. Uh, a Santa Claus. Think about Get it. Get the little child sitting on your legs, yeah. stroking his back, putting Ooh, your finger in his mouth. What do you want mouth. for Christmas? Mm. Oh, slip a cheeky. No, I'm just gonna stop. I'm already gonna make myself feel sick. That's my dirty pedo chewing sound. It sounds like you were giving me brain. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want for Christmas, mate? Christmas. Woo! All I want for. Are you still on Christmas your positive vibe? You've had five positive days back to back. Dick. You want dick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me, bro. Sorry, it just went in. I right can't there. chew this into the mic, can I? Not really. I mean, it's uncouth. I'll drive you insane. Um, <laughs> yeah, the seven listeners. Stop uh, diminishing the product, ten bro. Ten subscribers, sorry. Ten subscribers. Woo! Woo. Um, what do I want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> more, more hours in every day. Mm. I can't stand people that say that. Life's too short. No, it's not too short. Not enough hours in the day. There's plenty of time. No, there's not enough hours in the day. I'd no. agree with that one. Life plenty is too long, though. It's too short when it gets dark at four. Life ain't too short, just, but Ugh. there ain't enough hours in the day, Ugh. though. Do you know what else bro, when we get on to? Do you know what else winds me up, yeah? What, what grinds your gears? People put on Instagram, like, a photo, and then they'll be like, I'm so happy right now. And it's just Ugh. like, it's too much. Ugh. You need to tell everyone how happy if you are. Yeah, if you if you were actually so happy, you'd be lost you'd be in content. the happiness mm -hmm. and wouldn't be thinking, oh my oh my God, I've got to blast this happiness out to everyone I know. But then likewise, it grinds my gear when people post weird things like, oh, I'm so... You're checking the arms there. Don't be shy. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit. It's fine. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I saw you looking me up and down when I came out of the shower. God, this is not sounding good. I check everyone out though. I I I, uh, I take everyone in when they when they're naked. Look, I'm. Look, it's I mean, fine. you had a towel on. You weren't naked. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I know I'm a stunning specimen. This is what I did when you came in. Down and up, and look away. So <laughs> How you, do, you doing? Take it in. <laughs> Always take people in. It's like in the change rooms. Everyone gets taken in, <laughs> just once. <laughs> yeah, what was I saying? I was telling you, I was no to idea. We went very homo erotic there. Yeah, but I was taking. I was, <laughs> I was taking you in. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I was taking you in. That's gone now. Um, you were saying something about Christmas, not enough hours in the day. People posting their misery. Yeah, and then and people posting like, oh, like I'm sick at backtracking, isn't it? Have you been? I Sorry. can't even. I don't want to say someone's name on the thing, but someone we know has been posting some weird shit on uh, Facebook. 
I'll tell you after. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to write it down and show you. Yeah, wait, it's write scar- it down. It's scaring me. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm I, insane. I saw something like that. I think I'm... Yes! Yes, yes I saw it as well, mate. It weirded me out it's as like well. If you're having a mental breakdown... Get yeah. off your Facebook, yeah. man. Yeah. Like people. Yeah, but that's weird. the trouble, bro. We're, we're, this is this is enforcing the mental breakdowns of society, bro. The fact that you, bro, all this connectedness is what's doing it. Because from what I know, yeah, that guy's been not in England for a long time. Oh, really? For a while, he's been traveling and doing shit. So the only way half that stuff is played is because he's talking to people or writing mm. to people or listening or looking what they're posting and stuff like that. So, you know, if, if back in the day, bro, Do you you, know when, you're, you're in Thailand or wherever you are. Mm. You're there, innit? You don't stop fucking... Do you know what you you, know. you notice, yeah? Like, yeah, I've Even Dale now traveling, right? like all the time he's on like, Instagram showing everyone what he's doing. Mm. I think, yeah, that the people who are having the best time of traveling is when... Every like month, they'll just upload a bunch of traveling photos because yeah, 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 they're yeah. too busy doing shit and mm-hmm. seeing things. And like, like if you're just constantly on your social, like shout out me and you not posting one photo bro, while we bro, were away. Bro. Yeah, but then when we went away, it wasn't like it was now. I don't think. I know it wasn't that. Like we went traveling about what eight years ago now. Like, yeah, but we still had look. We still had. Yeah, but there was no Instagram back then, and then Snapchat and things like that. All right, well, I still don't use either of those, but. I'm you just use saying Instagram we st- a little bit, but you wouldn't like for my mum's work. Yeah, you wouldn't like upload things. I don't yeah. put anything on my Instagram. Yeah. Um, but do you like scroll through it and look, like look at? <laughs> really, Instagram yeah. bores me, man. I gotta say. <laughs> I yeah, but see, it. the only thing why I switch from Instagram to Instagram is because Facebook is just floods of fucking oh, tag a friend that does this. Oh, I see, I might prefer Facebook shit. just because of half of it is news for me. Well, it depends. See, mine's not though. Mine's just yeah, because, stupid videos. Yeah, because shit. you've gone on fucking because you've subscribed to shit channels when you were like thirteen. Yeah, you got yeah, to do yeah, uh, yeah. you got to do the purging thing, which I did as well. Which was you got to unsubscribe from all the bollocks, bro. I I do. So every time, so this is what I did. I started doing it. Hide out, hide out. Not just, saying that it's like fucking any better, but I'm no, just but saying I was, like I do just get a lot of news on there, which is what I like about. I it. went through mine. I was hide out, and I thought, why am I wasting my time? I don't give a shit anyway. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? fuck it and then Instagram is just a picture I don't have to obviously there's captions as well but then Facebook is just people just upload all this shit and I just like don't care like I don't get in. I mean Instagram really like I, I, you just inevitably end up looking at hot chicks that make you sort of want to poke your eyes out because you're just like <laughs> this isn't real life and it makes that. me feel shit about my life yeah you don't just see an amazing girl you think I'll never that, even that's see that's just you. what Instagram are is, you bro. even real it's like, just these stupidly hot girls who are slightly sweaty and like you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. and it's just like what, why am I it's doing this it's not even sweat they've got a glossy oh it's a glow. gloss oh it's, been, it's shiny it's from Every, the halo their legs are shining why are they so shiny I don't know I was with James the other day and he was just scrolling through it and I was going why are you doing this to yourself mm-hmm. and he kept pointing at me i'm going mate i don't want to see it it makes me feel shit see it doesn't make me feel shit because it's not real like they do not how many girls have you seen in real life yeah none no but when this is what i'm saying how many girls have you seen <laughs> none <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> but how many times you see like i've seen this a hundred times where you see a girl in real life oh right yeah oh, she's okay she's like a pretty girl and then you go on her instagram it's like oh my holy god smoke. like you yeah. why aren't you a model and then mm-hmm. you see in real life and it's like, oh they're a good looking girl but they don't like none of that shit's real i don't think no it's not real but same as dudes like, i could i could go i could go now to the gym yeah get a nice pump train for like an hour go and stand under the gym down lighting upload a photo on instagram and i'd look like a, i'd look in good shape yeah yeah but it's not real, is it? No, you're not. You're in terrible shape. I mean, I'm it's, fat. It's <laughs> <laughs> I weigh 27 stone. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do it, and it? It's not yeah, hard. Like, yeah. like if, you, if you just have a bit of gains, you can make yourself look way better than what you yeah. are. And that's not real. Like, I mean, yeah, that's so unprofessional. So it's probably just a few galleys, isn't it? I mean... A few galleys on the land, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and girls know their angles as well, where their nose doesn't look do. hooked. Of course they you do. Know, like, it's like a good dick pic. You go down and up. Like, everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And you get a little miniature car next to it, and you're like, "Hey, yeah. <laughs> look how big this is!" You get a little toy hand. That's my hand. <laughs> toy just hand jack off with a little toy hand. <laughs> now you that hide be... your arm. You just have a little bro. Like, you have a little hook that just that jacks is you off. Like. Genius. Copyrighted right now. We just copyrighted that. Put jack off hand, <laughs> bro. Like a little plastic hand, yeah, that actually looks like an arm with a tiny hand, yeah. And we and call you just it wrap <gasps> it around your cock. We call it the dick pit cam. <laughs> the dick. <laughs> mate that's actually a hundred percent 
But we had another amazing idea on the last one. You would have to listen back to it. <laughs> yeah, then how how are you going to advertise dick pic? <laughs> you know I mean? If there's weird shit that doesn't get advertised, like weird sex toys, we're doing it. Dick pic. D- what was the last amazing dick idea we had? I wrote it down here. Mate, I'm not going to lie. That was sell. Big, big time. <laughs> I don't know what this means. All we wrote down was TC bear. Oh no, TL, Fug Life Bear. A bear with a zoo. <laughs> that was, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that would sell as well. You get a free Fug Life Bear when you order a dick pic cam hand. Bro, not, not in three, innit? You pay for everything. Yeah, three nine nine delivery, innit? No, you get them on delivery. <laughs> I bought, I told you this, I bought a game off uh, off uh, eBay for £2. I think it was two oh, the Brian thirty Lara. nine. Brian Lara, I think it was £2. Whatever, £2.50. And they offered me next day delivery for fifty pounds. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Uh, I'm gonna pass on that one. Yeah, gonna go and not pay twenty five times for my product for you to bring it to me. And it came like a week anyway. Oh, it's arrived. I can't wait. It's arrived. Brian Lara, two thousand and five. I'm not sad at all. Um. Right. So. Right, you dead, and you don't want to talk about Brian Lara, two thousand five. Brian Lara. You don't want to talk about overrated. You don't want to talk about my twelve, my twelve year old PS two. Overrated. I cricketer. just bought. How dare you? Is it for PS two? Is that for PS two? Have you still got your PS two? Uh, well, are right. you gonna have to buy a console? Well, I nearly have? did, but they're like, did you know how much a PS two cost? Like twenty pound. Mm, I sense. thought it'd be like a, really. I thought it'd be like a pound. A used console that's like twenty years old. Oh, is it used as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah used. You, no, I suppose there's no brand new ones anymore, is there? No. Yeah, they're Absolutely. still just bash. There's probably some little Chinaman in his factory that doesn't know that they've got new one. <laughs> I just slugging away. I was about to be bare racist. I'm glad I wasn't. I like how you aim your you aim your yawn into. This is what you do. You go. You go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Something about this podcast just makes me yawn. Oh, that's good. It's a good sign. <laughs> that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> to everyone listening out there, you know, it's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse before it gets better. <laughs> um, Yeah, so, well, I mean... I don't eye my current events. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to see them. I, it's my current event day, yeah? <laughs> it's like, like last week. Did I do last week? Yeah. Current event number one. Hit us. Bristol City. Boring. Current event number two. <laughs> Women... This is a good one. Uh. A woman took her two pit bulls out for a walk in the forest. Uh. Ate her. What? Mm. Ah, got your attention in it. Hello. Yes. Let's talk. She took her. <laughs> <laughs> she took her two pit bulls out for a walk. They found her. So basically, at first, people said, "Oh no!" Like, um, what is it? Yeah, go. On. So apparently, her relatives said, "Oh no!" Like, she's had them since they were puppies. They wouldn't do this to her. And then the sheriff was like, "Look, like, we didn't want to." bring this out but when we got there the dog was eating her rib cage <laughs> two pit bulls imagine that like so fuck knows what happened in it they've obviously gone on the turn and just boom Bruh. that's why you don't have pit bulls man Did you, have you ever seen hulk the pit bull that giant i think it's like the biggest pit bull in the world no. you've never seen hulk i d- oh, man i don't want to start this dog the dog conversation though why because I'm, I'm, I am, because I'm always caught between two minds. I'm, I'm half a dog lover and half an absolute dog hater. Oh, I love dogs, man. I love dogs. I'm half half. You just got, you don't get a fucking killer dog in it. That's crazy. Just get like a nice normal dog. Oh, I'm definitely not a fan of any dog that look. You know, dogs that look evil. A lot of them do. They got that sharp. If if your dog's Some got a sharp them, yeah. face, mm. if his face is sharp and shark like. I remember years ago they used to then be like stay away. Staffs used Surely. to be like the cool little dog to have. <laughs> like I mean I like Whatever, if you do. like it you like it, then like it. Personally, they look scary and I just don't want to get near staff. them. What staff? All these dogs have their sharp face, man. I don't think a staff's scary, because staffs are small, they're like a little pig. James's dog, that's that's not scary. Who Tria? Yeah. yeah. Little piggy like Tria nearly bit my hand off <laughs> the first day I met her. <laughs> Oh, when I first got any... Was she a puppy, though? Yeah. Yeah, that's standard. Though. When not Standard. She's got a lock jaw, bro, isn't it? When they're... When if, if, if your dog's got a lock jaw, then that is a... Yeah, th- finger up the bum off. That's a straight... Ha- no, you grab the two front legs, spread them, and squash the heart between the chest split, muscles. You split the heart. No, you don't split the heart. Yeah, when you pull their legs, it's, it uh, severs their heart. No, it doesn't. It does. Think, if your heart's there... No, it's because they've got such you. big muscles there... You open that up and then that squeezes the heart and pops it. Oh, I've heard that you, you you rip it and it 
split. I reckon up. we're both wrong. <laughs> yeah, look that shit up, bro. <laughs> you were just dropping bro size. Someone <laughs> told us it like <laughs> 20 years ago. Spread a pit bull's legs. Spread a. P- well, it doesn't have to be a pit bull, just spread uh, a dog's legs. I'm and sure the thing. Spread a dog's leg, that just looks dodgy. <laughs> Spreading a dog's <laughs> leg. <laughs> Spread dog's legs to kill. <laughs> to kill. God, this went dark real quick. Hey, man. Look. Kill, a <laughs> <laughs> kill a dog. Kill a dog. Dot com. <laughs> kill a dog. Dot com. Is it Drew Doggy by pulling its front legs? They no, don't pull, man. This yeah, guy's this got it all bullshit. wrong. This guy's a mug. You mugged yourself, sir. Recently, I heard an urban legend that you can kill a dog by grabbing its front paws and pulling them away from each other. At 90 degrees to the side of the dog. Yeah, that's standard. Forcing the dog to do the splits. The idea is that it somehow causes the rib cage to split. Ooh, there we go. Um, I first heard the story about 20 years ago. What weirdo is writing this, by the way? I, I heard, gone online. I heard so this story 20 years ago, so I thought I'd ask the internet now. <laughs> it's, been fest- it's been festering. Okay. I haven't been able to enjoy my life due to my need to kill a dog and sever its heart, but... uh. Okay, all right. I've always heard that this works, but it's not easy to grab its legs when the dog is trying to attack your head first. <laughs> my grand, my, my it's grandfather kinda true, bred isn't it? dogs. The dogs are going to be like, oh, hang on, let me just give you my paws. Wait, uh, my, wait you haven't heard a bit. My grandfather, <laughs> my grandfather bred dogs, and he advocated ramming your fist down the dog's throat. <laughs> Okay, so so put your <laughs> so ram your fist in the direction where where you're that trying to get away mouth. from <laughs> that mouth that's trying to kill you. But I love that he said my grandfather advocated ramming your fist. I thought you were gonna say ramming out the ass, but obviously it, it's not with its own drawbacks, but easier <laughs> than grabbing the legs. Who writes this? Shit? And then the next guy went fist in throat is what I was taught. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> These bunch of fucking weirdos, man. It's how I was taught to disable a guard dog, so I hope so. <laughs> From my understanding, the purpose is to cause the dog to have a heart attack. That's what you said, right? Mm. Or oh, like crush its heart. Yeah. Mm. On preview, fist and throat seems to be most popular answer from this and the previous thread. This guy's been on That's such heads, bullshit, bruv. though. Imagine, look at me, yeah? Imagine a dog pin because this is what they do in it say that's your say the microphone's head they pin you yeah mm. that mouth is not gonna just gonna go ah. that mouth's going rah, 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 like chomping yeah. you put your hand there it's just gonna go, yeah but i'm just gonna be like pa, 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 pa. i'm gonna just jab that bitch in the face just floyd mary jab and move oh jab. <laughs> just whoo. no i'm a mcgregor that bitch just spinning wheel kick we bounce shin bone off, off of dog, dog nose, nose. do you know i had it once we went to stay on this farm i might have told this i think i told this story on here before but anyway we went to stay on his farm, and the first thing the guy said to us is, the, the, the Are dog... Are you going to stick with that plan, even as the dog is carving you up with claws and teeth? So true. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, and the first thing he said to us was, don't go near this dog, it's just had puppies. Just interrupt again. I know you want to. Go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> if a dog shows threatening behaviour to, towards you, face him squarely with fire in your eyes <laughs> and suddenly raise your arms so that your elbows are perpendicular and right and left fingertips nearly meet in front of your mouth. <laughs> so, so, so sorry. This guy's just told me you're not going to remember <laughs> to punch the dog or to get <laughs> But what you should remember, well, we perpendicular, 90 degrees, his arms, a finger to the nose, and that was your fucking fuck off, mate. <laughs> Who has time you, to write this? This like? will definitely work. You are scarier than him. He will back down unless he is an attack dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, unless he's the only sort of dog who's really going to attack you. <laughs> I feel like if you just hit them on the nose, they hate that. They're like sharks. Just hit it on the nose. Bro, I've punched many a shark in the face. Do you know what would be quite cool? A I simulation. punched a whale in the face once. <laughs> Went down like a sucker. <laughs> Do you know what would be sick? A simulation where you have you can choose the animal you want to fight. That would be sick. So you're like, okay, fuck it. Let's take on a lion. And it just comes out. You'd be terrified because it looks so real. But then what happens if it hits you? Nothing. In the simulation, have I got like this so you vest can't be... on that vibrates? Or yeah. It just simulates. So like when it's biting your face, you, you feel like warmth from the blood. Like it's not, you don't get hurt. But you can feel its power. That's what but I then once it's biting my face, yeah. It's getting it would, over, yeah. yeah so it just goes, boo, and then the simulation Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. That would be That'd sick. That would be sick. And then That'd you could do, like, sick. Great White Shark. You could do everything. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Great training. Great White Shark would be too scary. No, I'd do it. Great training. I'd like to... You'd be getting fucked up. Have you never seen those attack fucked dogs up, that bro. run at you? 
Like, I just, oh, like, I, know, I know. What are you supposed wow. to do? Fuck you up so badly. What do you mean? I do a fucking Bruce Lee spinning back kick. <laughs> but as you turn around, I just <laughs> No, I do that one inch part. And it's coming to me. I just don't even move. I just use my senses to calm it down. I'm just like, oh, yeah, you ain't used them senses in a while, bro. I remember like stranger things move actually. things around. Um, but yeah, back to the woman who got eaten by her pit bulls. Poor bitch. Poor bitch. That's what happens when you buy pit bulls. But poor bitch. Now, joking. Pit bulls apparently, if you train them accordingly, apparently any dog, if you train it accordingly, will not. Like dogs aren't supposed to just attack people. You know what I mean? But <coughs> who are we to say what dogs are and aren't supposed to well, do? Well, dogs... We're all... We're wild animals, bro. Someone, well, no, they're not. You, that's our point. They're not wild animals. Well, they kind of are. It would, not if you train it. Dogs are domesticated. Yeah, they're domesticated, but, like, they're still just... They're An like... An animal, yeah. yeah. Okay, a human ain't supposed to kill you either, but you piss him off and he will put a knife in your throat. <laughs> well, some humans, yeah. <laughs> you annoy a human, he will murder you. Imagine we were all like that. Every time someone annoyed you, you just went, poor. Imagine murder was just not even frowned upon. But if you you put, just go around like, boom. No, but it's the same with it. Anything, like, just think, most humans, I think, if they're pushed far enough, would probably kill. Nah. No? Nah. Hell no. So you got a guy, yeah, who is threatening to murder your mum, yeah? Oh, He's standing right. on top of your mum, oh, about yeah. to kill her, and you get the opportunity yeah, to yeah, kill him. I thought, you meant, kill him. I thought you meant in, like, um, just, like, regular living your life. like That could be regular living your life. Really? Whose mum do you know has been pinned down? I'm saying as in most, 99.99999% of people live life without killing someone. Yeah, and 99.9% of animals live life without... Well, not for a while. They 99.99% do kill shit. Depends where. Are we just talking about killing or murdering? Let's <laughs> <laughs> just imagine this little doggy court. This is a uh, manslaughter. Because, no, because technically we're killing every day. Every time you eat meat in one yeah. way or another, right? True, yeah. I mean, we're not physically killing them, but someone's killing it for you yeah, to have yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's to eat, which is what most animals kill for, right? Yeah. So a dog, most dogs probably have never killed anything. Because we feed them. Exactly. Dogs are stupid, though. I feel like dogs would starve if we didn't feed them, whereas cats would just be out there mm. eating the mice. I told you today, innit? Apparently they were saying if cats were the size of lions, then like we wouldn't be able to have them as pets. They'd fuck you up. Yeah. Giant ass cat. Like Cats are more cool. The more I learn about them, the more I like about them. Yeah, they're more wild. Yeah, I just like the fact that they can just do their own thing. A dog is so dependent on you. Whereas a cat, would you mm-hmm. if you moved out and you just left your cats, they'd just find another home. But, or that's, they just but we did that to dogs so we could utilize them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Cats, yeah. we could, we, I mean, we can sort of utilize them, but in a different way. You, we utilize cats for like catching rats and mice. So in that way, you want to keep them a little bit wild. Mm. Whereas with dogs... Cats we, will kill for wanna... fun as well. Yeah. Cats will just kill a bird and leave it. Mm. Well, they don't even kill it. They just, like, toy with it and leave it to mm-hmm. die. Cats are evil, man. Yeah, they're snakes. <laughs> Cats are kind of scary. But at the same <laughs> time, you just kick You know what this, was, it, what this conversation half reminded me of? Yeah, there was this guy. He was... Actually, I don't know why, but it popped in my head. He was at the pub, yeah, and he was... I've never seen him this drunk in my life. Yeah. This guy's a regular drinker. He always has two pints, cuts, and it bears, like... Mm. He's actually, like, bear straight in now, really, yeah? Got absolutely licked, right? Left. Came back at, like... God knows when, yeah, just couldn't produce a word, yeah. He was like, I hate it when people get like that. One point. And they keep grabbing. And I'm going, mate, no, not one more point. And anyway, it is. <laughs> is that what you made out of his thing? Uh, one more well, point. No, I knew that's what he was saying, yeah. didn't it? And I was like, I kept saying what, so he would stop saying it. But eventually I was like, he kept saying it. So I was like, okay, no, not yeah. one more point. Anyway, he sat there for a bit and he's going to me, you know, when I drink, you know, yeah, all these fucking cunts out there, you know, they drink, they fucking get violent, they get angry. Fucking, you know, why can't people just be like me? You know, you drink, you fucking love, you, you, you're happy, you hug, you smile, you laugh. But, you know, you know, I'm a happy drunk. I fucking love everyone. I fucking love to smile, a laugh, you know, this, that, yeah. But if you fucking piss me off, <laughs> it's fucking curtains. <laughs> I hate that. And I was just looking at it, I was like, <laughs> so, so it's not peace and love? <laughs> Wait, what? Peace and love as long as you don't annoy me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> what, and these other people are getting drunk and then just like, just just going crazy for no reason? Probably got annoyed by someone. <laughs> yeah. 
It just made me. I just. I was creasing in his face. <laughs> I was just like, "What's that even mean?" Like, what, what happened to the to the peace and love part beforehand? How old is this dude? About like 50, 60. Ooh. them old school dudes, man. They love a drink. Old school. Should we hit Stop some... taking chewing on because you're gonna throw it out again because you can't them. chew it. <laughs> Do you want to hit some currents? Sucker like a teat. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, you were going to talk about Bristol briefly. Yay, they won. They beat United. Woo. Hey, my hometown, bro. From my, hey, hometown. my hometown. Oh, this one you're like. Made about. in Finchley You're going to be Central. proud of my Yeah, go on. So I had women eating by pit. Women eating my pit was we had. Mm. So oh. they worked out from archives mm. that Henry VIII mm. once spent a year's worth of taxes on his Christmas pie. <laughs> If you were to round up the equivalent, so they, how much he spent, Sick. spent thirteen point five million pounds on his Christmas party. Boy, oh, gee, how mad is that? He's a cunt. Didn't tax give money. A took, a took tax fuck. money from all the peasants, yeah, yep. and then just balled out and didn't invite any of them. He had gifts for everyone, so they were saying that like everyone were like twelve royal people. They, well, no, they were saying so the people who came that he would give one of the gifts was so the they like made the equivalent. It was equivalent of giving someone a forty-three thousand pound gift. Wow. All the women that came had four hundred pound gifts. They were giving them these like air freshener things, like spraying around that were like hundreds of pounds, which back then is like fuck that much. Hmm. He was a crazy dude. What was the? How many wives did he have, Tom? Eight. Nope. That he's Henry seven, the eighth. Se- seven. 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 Nope. Six. Oh, six. Uh, behead, beheaded, something killed, beheaded. Killed, survived, something like that. Yeah, some divorce. Anne Boleyn, Anne Boleyn, Mary, Queen Mary, of Queen of Scots, Cleve, the way Jane, Jane, Jane Eyre, no, not Jane Eyre. Was there a Shaniqua thrown in there? There was a Monique. How did he not just throw a big black booty chick, man? Because they were still in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fly them over on private jet, man. <laughs> they didn't know they existed. <laughs> if, fly- if they did, yeah, he'd have so many Shaniquas up in that bitch. He'd just be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> just partying every day. Just in booty land. Talking um, of like power shit, I've been watching Narcos season three. Oh, yeah. Very Again, nice. I know I'm late, but you don't watch Narcos, do you? No. Fuck, man. It's so interesting. You, you, I, I know you don't like this shit, but you'd be Is interested. It's still about Pablo. It. No, so um, one and two is about Pablo, mm. and then I didn't even know. I kind of knew this, but they were saying El Chapo. No, there is a series on El Chapo, but they were saying that um, everyone knows pa- Pablo Escobar was so famous mm. that when it came to taking down these dudes, the government didn't want it to become this big like, can we catch him? And it was such a like everyone thinks all oh, killing it. It was such a apparently it was such a disaster that whole thing. What the Pablo thing? Yeah, because by the time they'd killed him, he'd killed thousands of their people, man. Like, yeah. It was a disaster, PR disaster. Isn't it? What, what, did they kill him? They didn't send him to prison? No, shot him. Died. What, death penalty? No, no, they shot him. Oh, they just like him. trying to catch him. They well, what like, happened is, bang him out. How, long story short, what happened is he was supposed to go to prison. They just couldn't catch him. And he eventually agreed that he would build his yeah, own prison. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then he took the piss. He yeah. was having like casinos. I and Aquarius. Yeah. yeah. But I thought he just stuck it stuck it out in prison and just died there. Well, then there was the famous scene where they had him cornered. They had something like, uh, there was three helicopters, thousand oh, and they men, had him and he still 10, got 10,000 yeah. bullets fired and he just walked through. Like, they yeah. just let him through. Yeah. Yeah. So they were saying, that if we're fighting and losing out, we can't catch him. And then eventually, there was so... Oh, you have to be so good, man. There's he had he just the way it was run, like by the time they ever got to him, he was always one step ahead. He was all oh, they could just never track him down. Mm. So eventually show. But so he was the meddling cartel and the new guys who who helped the the police catch him at the Cali cartel and they they were actually bigger than Pablo. But they just weren't as like famous, like because Pablo is just like the most well known. How could they be bigger than Pablo? I thought Pablo was like because so they were number two to Pablo. Once Pablo goes, they've got the whole oh, market. Right, okay. So fucking interesting, man. Mm, 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 it's mm. so nuts how they do it. Where are they from? Cali. <clears throat> yeah, there's a place called Cali. Whoa! Oh, where? Colombia. Oh, is it? Oh, fair. Oh, not Cali actually cartel. California. He was the Medlin cartel, and then the Cali took over. And they're showing how. So what? How they got in trouble? So the main dude said, "Okay, I want to surrender." He he agreed to surrender, mm. um, but he said, "I want six months to like negotiate and carry on." They wanted to make as much money as they could in that time. Right. They were already billionaires, but they just I don't know they want more. 
um but then what happened is he fucked up so they used to release these gas canisters and fill the gas canisters with cocaine to ship it out mm. but they accidentally poisoned this neighborhood when they were emptying it it started going into people's houses they didn't realize mm. killed a bunch of kids Shit. so then the government were like look man like we can't keep like yeah, they basically they covered shit, it up they were like oh it's an accident but everyone knew it was them. yeah yeah and so they were like, no, fuck this. And then they eventually arrested the main guy while he was negotiating to get out of there. But they had to trick the local police because the local police were just, just every time they get him, they radio yeah. in, yeah, they're coming for you. Yeah, so yeah. what they did is they pretended that he was at this location. <clears> so all the police go with him. Yeah, cool, he's gone. Then they had a little secret operation and then they caught the main dude. Mm. It was so fucking interesting. No, Marty. It's nuts how they control it. Though. This is what I love. Like. T, 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 T. Um, was that how how did that lead on from your uh, current events though? I was talking about power, powerful men, Henry the Eighth. It just reminded me of that narcos. Power, powerful men, Henry the Eighth, narcos. Mm. Men in control. What was power and and, and why, why why did we come onto power? Because Henry the Eighth was a leader, and as was <laughs> the narcos. You're funny. I like <laughs> I like you. I like you. Thanks, mate. You're a funny guy. Thanks, bro. <laughs> um, I'll throw in a quick uh, current event that just popped into my mind. Please do. Eminem basically came out as gay. Yeah, but he was fucking with people, I see it. No, he's not. He's gay, bro. Nah. He's bi. I guarantee you. I guarantee he's fucked a dude, yeah. But I don't think he's I gay. I 100% guarantee you he is minimum bi. He is always, like, calling out gays in his songs and shit. That's a classic sign. Classic, bro. Mm. Who hates gays more than anyone? Mm. Someone who hates themselves for being gay. Yeah. Because they've been made to believe it's wrong and they can't accept themselves for it. But uh, he might be, but I did see that thing and he was like, oh yeah, I'm on Grindr, man. Like, he, I think, I feel like he said it as like a... Oh, well, you just read it though, no? You didn't see the video. I so I've heard it, I haven't seen it. You heard it? They played it on the Fire and the Kid, I watched it. Oh, well, it was, well, there was vocals to it. Mm. Oh, I've just seen the interview. It doesn't, it, it, the chick goes like... Does it sound like he's fucking when he when he says it? Kind of. He's like, oh, she's they're talking about dating. Oh, how do you meet people on Tinder? He's like, yeah, yeah Tinder, little grind. Like, he's not like, yes, I'm on. Bro, Grindr. I'm telling you, but he's he uses humor. He say. uses humor to to overshadow Maybe, it, bro. Because yeah. that's what he's done in his music as well, bro. How can you make the song "Fack" and I, not I be know, gay? Know what that is. You know the song "Fack." Give me some lyrics. All right. Oh, okay. Let's read some lyrics. All right, I'm just gonna say this, yeah. There's, a, there's one of the old songs, yeah, where he's talking about. Uh, I know he has bare. There's one where he's like, stuff. "I'll fuck a man in his face," but he probably like it. And yeah. it's like, why didn't you just say you punch someone in the face? Why you got to fuck him in his face? He likes to face fuck. Dude. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. But if you're like claiming you're not gay and you're saying that sort of shit, come on, bro, it's bait. Um, you know they were saying a lot of. Uh, I was watching another podcast. They said a lot of these celebrities, especially like the the like super A list celebrities, they're like, there's so many hot women that they sleep with that that that, that becomes boring. Yeah. Like imagine I said to you now, you all right, you can have every hot girl you've ever imagined. You can bang her year after year after year. Mm -hmm. You get bored of that, man. I, you want bro, something different. And there's then the that next... classic saying that for every hottie, there's a dude who's bored of banging yeah. her. But that's but... yeah, but that's different in terms. That's just oh, one girl that's boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every no, night, bro. I girls. know, I know a dude who's basically like he fully went sex addiction, and he basically said that he couldn't enjoy. <laughs> you talking talk about James? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 but. Where he basically said he 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 he's, he was kind of pretty famous in it, so he could, and he used to go to Prague all the time, yeah, because they have hot standard, hot yeah, brothies, yeah, and cheap. He he basically said like unless he was unless there was fourteen girls in the room, mm -hmm. like it just wasn't doing yeah. it for him. No, I believe that. Man. And he's like sitting there telling you put a fucking bottle up your look fanny. at Usher, you look at Usher it. when they found out that he was the big spreading chip, the big things. He was just banging these heifers mm -hmm. because it's he, he's. Been there, done All right, yeah. Girls. Eminem lyrics, yeah. I wish. What a great problem to have, by the way. I've just slept with so many beautiful women that um, I'm just gonna stop fucking dudes. Um, the whole song, yeah, is about banging, really. Yeah. It's fact. I've never heard this. I, I'm terrible at this. Just l look at the the uh, hook. Ow, ow, ow. Oh god damn. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking come. Oh shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's fuck. not talking about dudes. I though. am. I am. I'm going to come. I'm coming. Yeah, but that could. That's not really. No, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But it's a super sexual song. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. But then there's all this bit, yeah. And he goes, "Where is it? The bit, the bit, at the end." Uh. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. the lyrics is, okay. ow, 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 god damn, ow, uh, I'm fucking ready? coming. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I already came twice. You ain't gonna make me come. I'm all out of gas. Nah, not so fast. Ah, oh, your finger just went in my ass. Ow, that hurts. Take it out now. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, put it back in. In, in, in. This don't mean I'm gay. I don't like men. I like boobs. 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 Now, yeah. see that gerbil? Bro, this is him fighting with his inner gayness, yeah? Now, see that gerbil? <laughs> Grab that tube, shove it up my butt, let that little rascal nibble it on my asshole. That's what gay. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, right there, right there. That is fucking Bro. weird. Uh, okay, pull it out now. Wait, he's not out. He's still crawling around up there. Oh fuck! I think he's stuck. Oh, but it feels so fucking good. <laughs> Fair play to him. He is gay, man. Bro, fuck it. have you not seen the interview either? When they I go out to it, kill Kim it. Jong. Say like what? No, the, the the film, the interview with oh, uh, no, Seth Rogen no. and James Franco. Have you not? No. There's a scene. I think so. So James Franco and Seth Rogen are like, you know, like. Yeah, I've e- seen the plot and everything. I've seen you loads see, of trailers. You know, like E! News. Yeah. With like celebrity yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they like run a channel like that and interview all the celebrities. <laughs> yeah. And they, they get. A, 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 what, in the film? Yeah, yeah. And they get an interview with Eminem. And they're like chatting to him, chatting. He's actually in the film. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. And in and in the film, and this is where I believe. This is where it turned for me. After I saw that film, I was like, right, he's he's a hundred percent gay. That was him coming out. I think bisexual, jo- not gay. I think he's bisexual. That was him coming out in a in a jokey way, sort of saying, I don't really give a fuck who knows and who doesn't. But people who have really been paying attention will kind of know that this is true. <laughs> but in the f- <laughs> if you just listen to my song about having a German but that's what he said, brother. It's in yeah. the film, yeah, and the guy's sort of t- talking to him, and then he goes, yeah, you know, and I'm gay, so I did this and I did that, and then. And if, the guy's like, what? wait, wait, hope oh, you want to rewind there? What the fuck did you just say? And he's like, I'm gay, man. And he goes, what do you mean you're gay? And he was like, well, I've kind of been living a breadcrumb of uh, trail throughout all my music. You know, it's he, obvious to most people. He, yeah, he is, yeah. I, he's, he's is. that weird sort of humour guy. You like, know he's you had know. some issues as well. Like, he's definitely, yeah. like, yeah. I could definitely believe it. Bro, and did you see um, Elton John was on Graham Norton the other day, yeah? And they were like... <laughs> Don't uh, tell me John had his way with him, did he? Well, you know they're like best mates. No. Well, they are best mates, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So when, it's all added when, together. When, when Eminem got off drugs, uh, Elton John was his AA sponsor because he was clean. So he helped him not do drugs, right? And he went and stayed in his house for like two months. Wow. Yeah? Now... Elton converted. Not, uh, now... Uh, they were all saying on the Graham Norton show they're going to Elton John. So you got to make you, you're you're gr- very good friends with Eminem, which is very strange to most people because he's considered very homophobic and this and that. And Elton John was like, "Look, oh, I remember." And that. Elton John was yeah. like, "Look, Eminem is that. not gay, bro. Like, I mean, he's not homophobic. Like, I know it for fact. Like, he was he, sucking he my had, dick last night. <laughs> he, he, he may have said some stuff, but you know, it's artistry. It's here. It's just expressing opinions, but it's not. He's not homophobic. And they were like, "Well, like, come on, man, you still say it." And he was like, "Look." For my anniversary, he got me and my husband uh, diamond studded cot rings. <laughs> so it was. <laughs> and he bought three. <laughs> hint, <Yeah>. hint. <laughs> wow, that is weird, man. Yeah, but it's like, how did you know those were good cock rings? Because you've had one rammed into your butthole, placed over a gerbil's head, and just boom <laughs> in the arc. Wow, man. Yeah, yeah, that is a good current event. Good current event. So I do. And also, he's been just. 50 Cent is heavily rumored to be gay as well. So and them two have just been best mates of time, and he loves up Dr. Dre. He's always like licking Dr. Dre's. I off. can't remember who it was. He now, loved yeah. B. I can't remember who it was. Out, so, oh, fuck! I can't remember who it was, but some rapper. Oh fuck! I can't remember who it is, isn't it? But what? one of the big rappers came out and said, "There's so he didn't say so many, but he said there's people in the rap industry and in the hip hop industry who are gay. Yeah, but it's just it's career not, suicide. Yeah, yeah, so he's like, they it. can't come out and say it, but they are gay. Yeah. He's like, I know it for a fact. Isn't well, it? Every one of the 50 Cent's ex-girlfriends, when they get interviewed and they're like, so what happened between you and 50? Like, why aren't you together? And they're always like, he's gay as shit. Really? Yeah, all the girls, they come out, they're like, bro, the guy's, the guy's gay, innit? Like, isn't I can't weird, really help yeah. out. Like, it's isn't not it, my fault. Isn't it weird that we, we think we live, or we like to think, or some people like to think, but we live in a world where it's like everything's okay, but there's still so many things. Like, there's no gay footballers. If you're like a rapper, you can't be gay. Do you know what I mean? So it's like... They still recognise that that if they were to come out, then it's like, oh shit, you're not you're not going to be as big as you were. I mean, that's weird. Yeah, like, yeah it's fucking mad, isn't it? Even though we're like okay with it, it's like, are we though? Like, weird, man. <laughs> not one footballer has come out as gay. Is Sol Campbell not come out? Nah, <laughs> everyone knows. <laughs> it's like you ain't go. Don't worry, Sol. <laughs> <laughs> and Cashley, I'd love Sol to just come out and be like, I'm gay, and everyone's like, yeah, we know, mate. Oh, oh, really? Oh, wow. 
Sol's a powerful looking dude, bro. <laughs> he is so camp. Oh my god. He um, really is that. But yeah, good current event, mate. This is another one you're like. Cheers, another, another nice Appreciate one. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Stormzy. Ooh. Um somebody tweeted him. Mm. Mm-hmm. His mm-hmm. the the dude's dad <clears throat> the dude's dad died the day he graduated or on his graduation Say day. Say that again, sorry. So some dude's dad died the day he graduated mm. and he uh, tweeted at Stormzy and he was like oh like mine and my dad's favourite song was I can't remember what song it was now like just wondering if you could sing at his funeral like obviously if you can't don't worry I thought I'd try mm. and he turned up and done it I thought that's quite cool man he actually I'm not gonna lie seems like a properly nice bloke seems like Stormzy. a good like dude. a really nice the, bloke the cousin tweeted out she was, she was a girl she said I can't ever let anyone say a bad word about it. she's like he was the nicest guy like the whose cousin uh the guy whose dad died, oh, okay. cousin, uh, and he was like, she was like, he's he so is, nice. He like, is. He does seem like a proper lovely seems bloke. So down to earth, so down to earth. So, uh, yeah, but that was cool. And then the other one is Floyd Money Mayweather uh, rules out fighting in the UFC. Of course, yeah. <laughs> that annoyed me. When people started talking about that. Like he would ever go into the UFC, bro. Well, what, Dana just, came out and said, and it. just get his n- fucking face mm-hmm. broke up by a knee. They, <laughs> Dana came out and was like, oh, he's serious about it. And Flo was like, no, 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 no. I'm not. Did you see the thing Mayweather uploaded? Of course he would never uh, go there. Did you see the thing Connor uploaded afterwards? And he just had his two belts and he was just the thing was just pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Why would he ever do that, man? Fuck knows, man. It'd be so stupid as well because they couldn't even put him in with someone good. He'd have to just fight some nobody. So it'd be like... Mm. Yeah. If he's right. His- his Floyd's done it so so he should I I hope he doesn't never fights again that man I don't think he will either but I just hope he stays away I really do yeah I mean if he wants to fight again in the fucking boxing against some chump and make another two hundred mil then bless yeah but he would be an idiot to go to now, UFC he bro. won't he won't go is he even having the conversation was stupid like yeah it really was but yeah those are my oh and one other one. Do you know Zanka, the Huddersfield centre back? No. He's in my team. Uh he has spent up to eight thousand pounds buying every single Huddersfield fan who goes to the Southampton game a drink at Christmas. That's nice. Well, very nice. Zanka very Claus, nice. they're calling him. Zanka hey. Claus. Yeah, I thought it was quite cool. Man. That's, that's a very, very Give him back to the fans. Lovely Give gesture. him back to the fans. It's beautiful. Yeah, I thought it was nice. It's fucking beautiful, mate. So all you Huddersfield <laughs> listeners out there, Fuck get yourself people. a token. <laughs> Just give out, you got to get a token, otherwise it doesn't work. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Can we go? <laughs> it's 430 miles, apparently, from mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. South we're going to gonna, we're gonna pay like easy. 80 quid to get, <laughs> to get a free pint. Totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cool, though, man. Having more, more footballers should do that kind of shit. Damn right. Um, you know what, though? If I was a footballer with that sort of peer... Yeah, being, well, this is just being me, and I'm, and I assume that a lot of them would have a similar mind state. Mm. Is that I would just do it. I wouldn't necessarily, and I would, I would probably do all I can to make sure it wasn't like a massive publicity bullshit thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, if I, if I was, it's not like he made it a massive thing. He just put it on his Twitter. Yeah, that's that's. But then how else are they going to know? You have to tell them somehow. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair enough because yeah. he's doing it for the fan. But I'm saying like, if there was a footballer out there like going around giving five grand to every homeless person he saw mm. if he started tweeting and facebook and oh, that, then it's a yeah. bit like oh, yeah, right. yeah yeah i get that all right well done mate like russell brand speaks bad though he like i loved his uh rogue when he was on rogan and he was saying like he, he's bearing like spiritual and meditation mm. bettering himself and blah 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 and he was saying he still can't get out of, so he's he's trying really hard to like uh He's saying like, oh, I've had money and fame and all that. He's like, trust me, like, trust me. It doesn't make you happier. Like, mm. just, he's like, from someone that's had both. And he was saying, well, that's all right for you to say because you're still like really rich. And then he's like, yeah, no, I get that. And he was saying that for Christmas, he goes to like these soup kitchens and he's like just giving his time. And mm. then he's like, instead of like celebrating, buying loads of stuff, I just, I chill with them. Mm. And he was saying, I know I still have a long way to go because he's like, there's still a tiny part of me that hopes that a reporter sees me, takes the picture of it and then blasts it out there. Yeah. And he is admitting that, isn't yeah, it? which I yeah, thought was cool. Yeah. And he's saying there's still, so he's like, until I can just fully do it mm-hmm. and expect nothing in return, that's yeah, where I'm yeah. trying to get to. I thought that's quite cool, man. Like, yeah, that is, yeah. Especially with a dude who's got loads of money and shit. Yeah, but that's one thing. I think, I think 
I think it's okay to do something, yeah, and kind of half like you're you're doing it, and a part of you thinks, God, I do hope that I get some yeah, recognition oh, for, for sure, it, man. but I'm still gonna do it either way. There's another thing of being like, yeah, you know them, Matt, like. And and honestly, I do feel like a bit of a bitch because they are doing something really nice. But you get these guys like, right, guys, next week, me and my pals, we're going out and yeah. we're giving out loads of lunches and coats. Yeah. And it's just like, just do it, bruv. Mm-hmm. Like, why, why well, do I Well, they'd say that we're doing it to raise awareness, to get people to give, but I know We know, know bruv. I walk down the street and see homeless people <laughs> every day, bruv, and I give yeah. them money most of the time, yeah? yeah? But I don't fucking tweet about it every time I do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A little selfie with the homeless. Just gave him four quid. Yeah. All right, all right, mate. Like, we, I was the same though. When when we did like that, uh, just do it if you want to do it. Actually, I say I was the same. I actually wasn't. When I did that tough mother thing, we raised loads of money. I wasn't constantly like I just put it saying donate, and then that was it. I wasn't like right, we've done this. Like, yeah, but again, you're that is we're actually, not that indulgent. No, but like you're that, doing though. it saying, hey, can you help donate yeah, some yeah. money? These people, they're not asking you to donate know, money. Yeah. They're just saying, hey, guys, I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. Look how nice I'm being. Yeah. You know I mean, if they actually said, hey. Can anyone, if anyone fancies, this is a bank account, you can transfer some money into it. Mm-hmm. Or if you want to come over the next week and drop some coats and food over and I'll help and I'll give it out, then that's another thing. Mm-hmm. But when you're just going, oh my God, how unprofessional. We're not restarting this one, mate. Just shutting down right away. I mean, how can I keep a podcast going on my own? Though? By I mean, the way, it's, hard. I, it's fucking hard, man. You know, when you were on the phone, yeah. I was just thinking, what do I say? What do you, yeah. But them American man who just jammed in and just talk at the camera. For Bill Burr. Two hours, Bill Burr does his own podcast. He mm. just sits down. With Chris Delia, that guy you don't like, yeah, uh, but he yeah. does it. They just sit down and just talk and just go. You know why? Because they're sick. No, because they love the sound of their own voice. I don't think Bill Burr does, but Chris Delia. I love Bill Burr. Bill Burr hates himself. I love Bill Burr. <laughs> yeah, I love Bill Burr. Bill Burr's a ledge. Yeah, no, that's a good point. But then I guess we're. Like with or without the recognition, they're still doing something good. Yeah, I know, and that's so, why I'm saying it comes across busy. Like the they day, are doing something nice. Yeah, they're helping. So the dude who they're helping doesn't give a fuck. Who, do you know what I mean? He's getting something yeah. out of it. So yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like I wouldn't. Oh no, I know exactly. What you mean. I wouldn't want them to stop doing it. That's great. Like <laughs> no, <laughs> we just sit up here not in, helping, enough, enough, judging enough the room. helpers. Yeah. I tell you what, though, I every time. Uh, I now feel like I'm falling into the same trap. But every time I go to work and come back, I without fail give to at least two homeless people. Oh, dude. No, joking. Yeah, I, no, you, I've seen you. you I do. do, but like, and, and I don't know. Just, I don't really think it's something to shout about. I'm going to I'm gonna put it on my face right now. Bro, shout out to Jordan. Bro, I've chilled. I've, I've chilled. You know what, actually? It's warmed my heart before because I've, I've gone, I was there at like two in the morning once at a bus stop, went and got a pizza for this guy, yeah? Gave him the pizza, man, and I sat with him, chatted with him a bit, and he just went over Shared the road, it, started it? giving it to all the other homeless people. Bro. I was yeah. like, rah, bruv, you are, like, this is, mm-hmm. like, touching. I watched a thing about homeless people on Panorama. They're saying that, I think it's, they it's said that crisis. the average person in this country is one paycheck from mm-hmm. homelessness. That's what they said. And say. they had a dude who was homeless. He was going to the, they're in, like, a park giving out soup. And he was there. He used to be a banker. Mm. He was married, got divorced, lost his job. Within two months, he was on the street. And it's yeah. like, he was saying like, they were like, oh, when you're homeless and you meet all these people, he's like, there's like a community, like a so stigma or, oh. or like saying, oh, th- this homeless guy's crazy. Yeah, or he's yeah, male. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like a lot of them do have like mental health issues. But he was saying, you meet a lot of just normal people mm-hmm. who are just like, have had bad luck. They've lost their job, like whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Be a little giving this Christmas, guys, yeah? Yeah, getting that giving spirit, guys. Now, who's coming down to Soup Kitchen on the 25th? Because I won't be there. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking. I you won't be You know what? There. After we did uh, cricket, remember Faye made like 8 trillion bagels for cricket? Yeah. So we only ate about 7, and we still had about 40 left. So the next day, I went around giving all the bagels That's out to the homeless people, yeah? Well, this one guy come up to me. I went up to him. I was like, do you want to... Bagel, but I, I, like I've got like reading them out of flavors, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, "You fucking man, I've I've got no fucking teeth. Why don't you offer me something fucking useful, <laughs> you fucker?" So I, like I was just there, like I was looking, and I was like, "Okay, Super. like wow." So I thought you were gonna um, say, I thought you were gonna say, like, "No, nah, I don't like that flavor. <laughs> just like, send you on your way." <laughs> yeah, but, but he was he was bare rude to me. He was bare like, "Give me something useful." I I bare looked at him like. 
you're a horrible man. Do you know what drives me I did nuts? half want to be... Oh, and you wonder why you're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Life your beats down you. cunts. Do you know what I hate when they... Uh, they're saying when they throw the sandwiches out of these like big stores mm. and the homeless people go to eat them and they won't let them have them. Yeah. So they've started like destroying them. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if anything goes wrong, we can sue you. It's like, oh, that drives me insane. Horrible. And it's so annoying, man. Let a homeless guy sue Waitrose, bro. They can afford it. Yeah. Say he does win the case. All right. Help him out. Yeah. Yeah, fucks. Instead it's of saying, so instead of stopping that, they should put a cap on on the law, right? So if anyone was to eat, food that was thrown Off away the from, from a thing then they a, either a they can't sue the place because yeah. or b that there's a max one grand settlement so but then you just have a bunch of people claiming all kinds of shit for a grand so you yeah. don't even do that you just say that like but it's like how many times do you eat something that's how can you blame like waitrose time? yeah how can waitrose get done for someone eating a sandwich that's in their bin do you know what's interesting that's i almost bollocks, don't though. i almost don't even blame them no, I don't as well. It's the it's the whole system. Yeah, it's it's stupid. But that is it's ridiculous. How on earth? How dare you, right? As a homeless person, though, mm-hmm. go eat a sandwich out of a fucking bin. <laughs> That's so get, <laughs> get a bit sick and then be like, "Well, this is just a, a travesty." Yeah. I thought this is a Waitrose sandwich. Yeah. Like, well, it was until it went into the bin for oh, two do weeks. You know what? I hate it. <laughs> this oh, this pissed me off as well. So I read today. So. This woman, or this, I don't, I don't know how old they were. Though. This is the thing. So, basically, some girl, don't know her age there, ordered a pizza from Pizza Hut. And she said, Have you heard about this? You can ask them to write shit on the inside of the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Can you write me a joke or something? Have you heard about it? I saw something like it. That's what she said. She I goes, know. Can you write me a joke? Yeah. And the woman, I can't remember the fucking joke now, but it's basically, it was some inappropriate joke in it. Yeah. But it was kind of funny. It wasn't like that, but it wasn't racist or homophobic, anything like that. It was just rude, like a rude joke. Mm. And the kid who or whoever it was showed their mum, and then the mum rang the store, and now the girl got sa- uh, sacked. How fucked who up? Who asked that? for the joke? The the person calling. So the kid. I don't know if it was a kid because it said that the mum complained, so I assumed it was a kid. So somebody, some kid or whoever asked for a joke. She wrote a rude joke. They rang up complaining, and she got sacked. I was like, that's so fucked up, man. Like, yeah, well, you got st- you got to stick with with clean jokes. Yeah, man. but come on, man. Like, no, nope. should have been sacked. Ugh, no way. <laughs> I was thinking, oh no, I've lost my job at Pizza. Fuck off. Um, Go to Domino's. What 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 else have we got in current events? Uh, we've kind of ran through it, man. Yeah, I can see a lot of bullet points there. Yeah, we had Bristol City, which you said don't care. Boring. Woman eaten by pit bulls. <laughs> disgust. Henry We're Eight. not a sports disgust. podcast anymore. Sport is boring. <laughs> Sto- yeah, so boring. <laughs> Stormzy, Stormzy at funeral. We discussed. Floyd yeah. rules out return. We discussed. Oh, yeah. Zanka Claus, we discussed. Oh, yeah, good work. We've gone through quite a few there. Yeah, man. Um, oh. Um, I mean, we could quickly mention Arsenal's fantastic performance in the Harry Bow Cup. Why would you call it the Harrow Cup? Is it? Oh, it's called the Carrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a joke. No, I just remember it's called the Carrow Cup. I was thinking, yeah. why Harrow It's like? actually Carabao. Carabao. What is Carabao? It's the third most popular energy drink in Japan. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. It's a fucking energy drink. It, yeah, it's the third most popular I've, energy drink in Japan. I don't even know what. I was about to say how four it was, and I thought I don't even know what a four it was. I thought it was like a beer. It normally it's a beer. That cup has had so many fucking sponsors. Like, why doesn't it ever just stick with one? Because man, the them just buy it. yeah, but like, look the at the yeah, but now look at the, was it the Emirates? Or no, what? that's what the FA Cup is now. The, the Emirates, Emirates FA, FA Cup. Cup. They're all like that now. I always it's go to call the league the, the league. Barclays Premier League. It's not called that anymore either. No, no. What is it now? I think it... It's definitely not Barclays. Because on FIFA like it used to be the Etihad the beat. or something, bruv. No, really? Yeah. I don't think yeah. it is the Etihad Premier League, no. It used to be... It was always Barclays on FIFA, like BPL. So I always call it BPL, but it's not. They changed it. Um, you look. know... Well, you know fucking Old Trafford <laughs> is the Emirates Old Trafford. What? Has been for like two years. Really? And that... I'm, this is going to start me on an angry Arsenal rant. We are just the Emirates. Right? Angry Arsenal rant. Coming up. Warning. Um, that shows you how fucking shit our fucking club management is, yeah? Because Wenger sacked whoever does it and did all the sponsorships himself and all that bullshit, yeah? So he ended up... Well, say yeah, that again. Wenger sacked the guy well, who does our sponsors. Well, Wenger took everything on, bro. He, he started doing all the fucking sponsorship oh, deals, really? everything, yeah? So we got a Puma deal, yeah? That was an eighth... We got paid an eighth of the amount the the uh, Chelsea got for their new Nike deal, yeah? We, we're with Puma. Yeah. 
Are we? Yeah. Our kit's Puma? Yeah. Show me the Arsenal kit? I never knew that. Wow, we're fake fans. Um, we really are. Are you sure, yeah? Mm-hmm. Puma. Let me see. Fuck, I never noticed that. Jesus Christ, yeah. Um, I'm such a bad fan. I did not know that. I thought we were Right, so, so we got, we've literally got, yeah, one of the worst deals. So we, we signed a new deal yeah, with Puma. Yeah, we, well, I was sponsored by Puma. It was one of the worst deals <laughs> in the last like 10 years of sponsorships in the country. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, we got we got like pittance. I mean, it was like 50 million, right? Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to get 100, yeah. Chelsea got like 800 million, mm, bro. We got yeah. 50 million. And they signed like for 20 For a shit deal. sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, We decided to go for a shit sponsor that paid us shit money, yeah? I didn't know we were Puma, that's a spare word. Right, then we go with Emirates, right? And we say, oh yeah, name our new sponsor. Stadium, the Emirates. So none of the fans can connect to it. Now it's named after some fucking flight company that only goes to Dubai. Yeah, mm. wank. That no one uses. United. At least they, they put it at the start and didn't even mention it. They, it's still I Old Trafford. Know. I didn't know. It was still Old Trafford, bro. The Emirates Old Trafford. No one's ever going to call it the Emirates Old Trafford. We were supposed to be called Ashburton Grove. Yeah, I mean, I'd have preferred that just because it's. It I wish we just area, never it, ever like, fucking left Highbury. Yeah. I wish we never bothered, man. Do you reckon, I was going to say, do you reckon they'd go back? But hell no, they make so much more money now. Of course they wouldn't go back. No. Nah. But then we've been terrible since we went there. The What's the Premier League sponsor? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just the Premier League. Lead partner is EA Sports. Official bank is Barclays. So it's still yeah, but it's, it's not the Barclays. It used to be the Barclays, apparently. Maybe it's just the Premier League. I think it's... Cadbury's a sponsor. The, the official snack. They've got different sponsors for everything. Yeah? So official lead partner EA, official bank Barclays, official snack Cadbury's, official beer Carling, official ball Nike, official timekeepers Tag Heuer. Do you know what pissed me off the other day? I was reading That's weird, about. isn't it? Do you know FIFA and e- well EA, not FIFA, but uh, EA have bought all the rights to everything, which is why no other uh, companies can make proper football games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've just brought out this shit broken game that doesn't work. Buggy what, as FIFA? fuck, yeah. You're bad FIFA. Amazing game. It's so dry. Well, it's buggy online, maybe. But if you play like the league, the normal shit. Yeah, I guess. That's just glitchy because it's connections. No, but I'm just... talking about that. I'm talking about general gameplay. It's so yeah, but it's fucked. still amazing. Like, it's a good game. It's, it's amazing. It could be. It should be better. Should it? And it's broken as well. Like all the bugs in it, where it's like, oh, you can not lose and like, do you know what I mean? Like what? Mm, I don't know. And they've just like monopolised it. No one else can make a game. Right? Yeah, it's the piss day. I mean, it's all just business. They don't actually want you to enjoy yourself really. No. They, just well, they, 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 they don't really care. They don't think about that. And think about Gev, they've geared it all towards that shit now where you have to pay and mm-hmm. they've made everything else terrible. Like like yeah. what I said to you, and there you know was an offline they... mode which they just didn't fix. There was that, I think it was online, is it online seasons or some bullshit you can play offline? Mm. It wasn't working and they just left it for like a month. They're like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, it doesn't make us any money. Who gives a shit? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're a sh- they're EA, a scum. Are, EA are a fucked up company. They're, they're the horrible company, mm. man. They really are. Scum. Dirty, don't give, don't dirty, give a shit. dirty scum. Mm. But yeah. Mm. Um, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. Fuck you and your whole team. Fuck your whole team. Bunch of crackhead assets. I'm going to buy some more chewing gum. Thanks. Appreciate being about free. <laughs> don't know why you eat so much. <laughs> just like one drink, I'm lost like a couple hours, man. Oh, yeah, but then they start tasting weird. They just taste of nothing. What are you looking at? I'm very curious as to what you're scrolling at. Oh, I'm just looking for more new random news bits and pieces. Oh. <coughs> I was going to say, don't let us keep you, mate. Don't let the nipplers keep you. Oh, oh these ants, man. I think I'm going to find it hard to stream, man. Hard than I thought. i got to practice talking to myself. Oh, God, are you going to start doing all that shit? Yeah. Have fun. I want to get balls deep in my streaming, man. <laughs> you can just stream for hours. Stream for like 10 hours. <laughs> you can play for 10 hours? I can play loads of different shit, A few hours on FIFA. I just don't understand. I mean, yeah, do it, man. You should do it because people watch it, but I don't understand why people watch it. Because sick, man. Is it? Yeah, there's so... I... The day I s- am sitting on my computer, right, Watching some fucking Cheeto fingered fuck <laughs> playing games on his computer. It was not just games; they they stream bear shit. Right? Like, what? Like him playing right, so poker or yeah, watching football? Why yeah, am I gonna watch someone watching something but, or watch someone doing something? Well, like Gogglebox or some of one of his popular shows. It's about doing things that are unattainable to you. So, like, if you enjoy poker, yeah, yeah. and you re- like when I, when I yeah. love poker, yeah. I'm never gonna be able to play a 
ten thousand pound tournament. That's unattainable. But I can go and watch the best player in the world play it, and he's playing for millions of dollars. That's sick. <laughs> like you can't do that anywhere else. That's why Twitch is Twitch is huge now, man. All right? Twitch yeah. Okay. That's one thing. Fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's cool. That's yeah, that, that's saying, the equivalent of me watching Eminem performing in a packed. Yeah, but what I'm saying here. to you with like FIFA, it's equivalent. There's like that's no, not. What what when uh Geff's friends hear about my ultimate team? Like, oh my god! Like because it's unattainable to them. So when they see that, like oh this is sick. Or when you watch a guy who's opening his packs where he's like two in the world, you're like oh shit! It's like you're watching shit that you you could never do. So it's just cool. You could do it if you bothered to put the work in there. Nah, man, fuck that. This dude who who's the well, best. There's well, the best player in the world. Is called Gorilla. This fat white guy. Yeah, yeah. okay, but you, he's but it's so just, sick. Yeah, bro. but it's just come. What do you mean watching people opening packs? That's just because you just put some, make some money and put it in, on packs, then, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, right, just open the pack. Yeah, but it's not the same, is it? Like, you, well, people do do that. People just buy packs, people watch it. But if you're like top hundred in the world and you're opening this cool, and then people just love watching. <laughs> It's like if you go on that Castro dude now, he's, he'll have 15,000 people watching him on Twitch. Doing what? Playing FIFA. <laughs> Literally playing FIFA. Opening his packs, like just doing his thing. He's bought a fucking house. He's rich just from Twitch. He used to watch cars. Isn't it? Yeah, no, no, no. Like, like what I'm saying is amazing. Yeah, do it because fucking people are going to sit down. But why the fuck are people sitting down and watching it is what I don't understand. I get it, man. It's just... The- People are, people are balls deep in ga- poker's, gaming. So big. Poker's a bit different to me, but games, bruv. What does someone play FIFA, bruv? Just go play FIFA. If you like FIFA, go play FIFA. How on earth could watching FIFA be better than playing FIFA? See, I get that. I, don't, I couldn't watch. Yo, that, yeah, well, yeah, this is it. It's like a comedy thing, isn't it? So that dude who I watch, uh, the what, I can't remember his name now. Because oh, they're switching out. Yeah, it's just funny, isn't it? Like you're watching a guy go crazy. It's, it's like entertainment, isn't it? It's just funny. Mm, I guess. Yeah. I don't get it. Don't and then get you get well. streamers like all the le- I don't know you even know what this is, but like League of Legends, and they're like you get the best guys in the world on Twitch, and people love it. Like, mm. yeah. Well, good luck to you, sir. I hope it. I hope you get a lot of viewers, and I hope it makes you money. But if you ever let me near the, if you ever let me near that camera or that microphone, I want you on the on the. What th- is wrong with you people? Turn off your I, fucking ants. I want you in my chat, just spreading bile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I shall spew. Yeah, it just looks fun, man. I'll have a go. At no, all, all good work to everyone who does, bro. If I'm gonna be playing FIFA, then I might as well. Then why not film myself do it and have and make and have something else come of it? That's fine, but it's just the other side of it. I don't understand. It's like they can, isn't it? These guys make a living. Like he's literally sitting there playing FIFA, and it's just going boom subscription, boom subscription. Donated five dollars, donated twenty dollars. So he's just watching himself get rich while chilling at home. They always say in it, this dude, he's like, I can't believe this is my job. Mm. He's like, I wake up in the morning, drop my kids school, come home, play FIFA, chill, make like amazing. thousands of dollars, and then go to bed. Like amazing life. I'm sure that's the one in the million that obviously, yeah, most course. people just dream and get about twenty viewers. Like. Yeah. Of course, no. most people podcast and only get ten subscribers, bro. Some I people you mark that. out ten thousand, blood. We'll be at ten thousand by what next week? Well, we want fifteen by New Year. <laughs> yeah, you got to start somewhere, man. Damn right, got to start somewhere. Don't bro. be downhearted. I told plugging. you about them. Keep plugging. Keep I told you about plugging. them dudes who uh, the mm-hmm. two American guys. They got to. Yeah, yeah. He said the first like three years we just had the same ten subscribers. Yeah, He's like, yeah. we could never get above it. He's like, when we almost gave up, innit? Mm-hmm. He's like, you just got to keep on doing it keep on doing it put it out there, but we'll out just there. wait for my dad to get like a big part get interviewed while he's doing the party and people get so what do you do in your spare time and then that's when we he hits get him, him on, with man. the old well i watch the anti his nipple regularly mm. we should get him on as well though yeah i guess i mean yeah suckle from that nipple <laughs> the daddy nipple <laughs> We need. We just a, want a bit of his spare nipple. We need juice. a. We need a third. We need a, a bigger interface. You know what? I'm gonna actually look into getting us a bigger in, interface. Yeah. Well, I don't have money to be spending right now. It's actually very silly of me. I can spend money. I just spent eighty pound today. Silly. What did you silly. spend eighty pound on? Fave presents. Oh. Stupid. It's just stupid. It's gonna probably exchange it, all of it. <laughs> So it's risky getting presents for girlfriends unattended. Yeah, I know. Like just you choosing. That's what she said to me. Well. I, I called her. I was in Topshop or whatever. And I was like, what do what you want? And she was like... Oh, did you go for clothing? Yeah. And she was like, oh. why are you going for clothes? And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, that's the hardest thing. I was like, is it? 
Bro. And, I, and I was like... Women in their clothes. And then she was like, do you even know what I wear? And I was like, I think so. And she goes, well, what have you got in your hand right now? Like, what have you got so far? And I went, well, what kind of thing do you want? And she goes, you know, like black, grey, you know, plain, no, nothing on it. I was, so do I put down the multicolored floor? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the pride or <laughs> And she was like, yes, obviously. When you've seen... And I was like, well, I'd like to start seeing you wear stuff The worst like was I went Victoria's Secret to try and buy a girl this shit and it was so embarrassing. I'm like looking at all the things I'm just like, bro, I have no clue, man. It is hard, man. It's so hard. There's so much more options for them like, as well. Like with a guy, it's like, all right, shirt, jumper. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there's so much your polo. Yeah, we're bare easy, jeans, man. cheat. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like... Man, damn bear easy, isn't it? That's all right. We can spend 30-odd quid. Yeah, but we need one with three. Right now, we got one with two. Is that so we can have so a third person? Go, yeah. So here, here we've got a four one. Ooh. So that's... Uh, four B. So that's 100 quid, actually. That's pretty cheap. How much is the one I've got here? Scarlet Focus, right? All this shit, just so you can do it. So is that... Yeah. What are they called? See, look how sick the one we've got is, though. What are they called? Look, uh, what are these things called? Interface. Interface. So look, that's the one we've got, yeah? Bloody hell, that's just for 220 quid. That's just for two, and their, their four one is 262. Wow. That's how you know it's a good one, though, isn't it? Yeah, we got a sick one. That's right, bitches. That's how you're hearing us clean and cool. Mm. How about we shop for this after, hey? Yeah, no, you're right. About that. <laughs> you're damn right about that. Sorry, George. George doesn't like pauses. He likes the entertainment is to he, flow. Is he, is he angry about the pauses? Sorry, he's like, George. bro. The only thing he's like, when you start searching things, he's like, I can't see it in it. And he's like, sometimes you just don't explain what you're talking about. And then we're I'm looking like, at huh? interfaces, George. <laughs> <laughs> we should just aim all at for, until we yeah. until we put us on Facebook. We should just aim everything at George. So, George, how you doing, bro? Bro, that could be the name of the podcast. So, George, <laughs> how's it going? Hey, George. <laughs> and when everyone else listens, like, who the fuck is George? George is the godfather, that's all you need to know. God, that's what they called the leaders of the cartel, the godfathers. Yeah, that's why there's a the film four the godfathers, godfathers yeah. I guess. Yes, thanks, Jordan. <laughs> I'm aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Merry Christmas, guys. Yeah, I think we've uh, we've we've ran so dry. We've ran dry. We've run the dry. The nipple is dry. All right, guys. Well, Merry Christmas. And hopefully we get we get we'll, we'll, hopefully you're here for, here from us before the new year. Oh, you will. Anyway, you will. probably won't. This is Christmas, bro. We need time off as well, guys. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Fucking demanding hell. content. So demanding. I mean, yeah. Ideally, we get that little free New Year's one in mm. there. We do need to review the year. Yeah, it needs to be on best a personal level. Everything yeah. on a news level. Yeah, yeah. We got to change media. God, 2018 is going to be a big year. Oh, for the it's going to be big. Big year for the podcast. Stay tuned, and Let's make a subscriber and view aim by the end of next year. But this should be part of the final of the year episode. <laughs> but let's just do a little one now. Okay. I'm going to say I'm going to say 100 subscribers <laughs> by the end of the, by the end of next year. 28. 28. Wait, this is a guess on how much we'll have or what? An, no, no, or the aim. Oh, target. All oh, right. <laughs> I guess I know we have seven. We're going to lose three. <laughs> well, it's taken us about four months to get ten. Yeah, but that's like we haven't been trying. True, you know I mean? true. We haven't put, we it, we haven't put it out there it properly. Out there. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Fifty. Fifty to a hundred. Fifty to a hundred. You could easily do that. Well, we'll see. I wonder how our Thai viewers are doing. Swadika. Five, 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 five. Bit racist again. You were the one being racist. I said Swadika. What does that mean? It means like hello, greeting. When yeah, and I just and I just basically said lol. <laughs> Why? Five, 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 I five. still never got that. Is that lol? Yeah, it's ha 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 ha. Our boy in Thailand just sent me a thing going, yeah, we've just met some birds from uh, Tinder, all these little, little Thai girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sure. It's so easy to meet girls in Thailand from Tinder. Really? Yeah, you know you can set your thing anywhere abroad, yeah. Me and Dale put our things in Thailand. I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. So many go, where are you now? Come meet us. Come meet, like, swear to God. Mm, just because Prozzy's probably used Tinder out there. Oh, one in three of them's a prostitute. Yeah, but I'm saying as well, you also get... Real ones. Yeah. Who want visas. It's kind of sad, really. They all have fake names as well, like Shampoo and Kung Fu. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> You got to filter through the lady boys. Well. I swear to God. 
shampoo. Uh, and then they say, like, I'm bar girl. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> I'm what? Bar girl. What does that mean? It means, like, prostitute. Oh, bar. See all the bars we went into, yeah? Oh, like Bart. No, bar. Oh. Like a bar, drinking bar. Oh, okay. See the bars we were drinking in, mm. in, like, Pattaya and shit? They're brothels. Really? You just don't realise, yeah. Mm. Fair. See all the girls that are outside, you can sleep with them. That's what it is. And I didn't we, we were too like naive to know what was going on. I knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> yeah, every time you go to the toilet, it's just like, <laughs> where's Jordan, man? <laughs> yeah, but I still didn't want any part of it. I fully got offered the threesome, but I know yeah. I would have been asked for money afterwards. I don't think you would, because they were her friends, the the woman who owns it, friends. Mm, true. Still here, ladies. We were just a couple of dashing, young, naive lads. <laughs> I can't believe that 30-year-old hotel owner took advantage of a, of, of this <laughs> timid 18-year-old. I was raped. <laughs> you basically I was raped. <laughs> I remember a girl was like, do you not remember I said to you? I was like, oh, I think it's a prostitute. And you're like, no, that's the fucking woman who yeah, owns yeah, the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should probably go into that In story. In penthouse just... upstairs, bro. That was G'd out, i got to say. Then I, then I took a mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> clean my ears <laughs> and I remember, I remember you came into my room and because I was in the room yeah and you were like yeah bro I need to, I need you were like I need to take the other condom or something like that yes. because we only had two condoms or something yeah. and I <laughs> can I say we went traveling for four months we brought like one condom here. we had low expectations <laughs> it's the way you came in to get the condom yeah and I was just like take it bro I ain't gonna use it bro, I'm like, bro go for it take and them then, all but then <laughs> as you left yeah I sat there and thinking how dare he leave me and take the last condom? <laughs> I'm going to smoke his spliff. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sat there and bunged your suit, bro. <laughs> and in your head, who's winning? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, bitch. <laughs> Look, so I remember how I can't get into too much TL, man. I was about to get crude. Yeah. I can't get too crude. Yeah, guys, it's, it's, it's another story for another day. It's a great story. Great story. But you ain't getting it because we're done. We're done. I've had enough of you. We out. Fuck you, Ems. We out. Love you. Really. Merry Christmas. Love you all. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And hey, bro. Everything else. You've had Hanukkah, yeah? <sighs> yeah, all right. Fine. Merry Christmas. <sighs>